Hi, my name is Amber and I am a state certified nursing assistant in the state of North Carolina. Today I will be demonstrating how to measure and record vital signs. Taking vital signs is one of the most important jobs a CNA can do. A change in vital signs can indicate signs of illness, so it is important to monitor vital signs regularly. Today I will be demonstrating how to take blood pressure, pulse rate, respirations rate, and temperature in a home care setting. Please enjoy my video. First, extend the arm level to the heart with the palm facing upward. Then, expose the upper arm and using your index and middle finger, locate the brachial artery and find the pulse. Next, wrap your blood pressure cup around the upper arm. Then, place your stethoscope under the blood pressure cuff where you found the pulse. Next, you will inflate your blood pressure cuff to between 160 and 180 millimeters per mercury. After reaching that point, slowly deflate your blood pressure cuff until you find the systolic reading and the diastolic reading. The systolic reading is the first strong beat that you can hear. The diastolic reading is the last strong beat you can hear. Then remove the blood pressure cuff and record your results. The systolic number goes over the diastolic number. Extend the arm with the palm facing upward, then place your index and middle finger just below the thumb on the wrist and apply pressure. Feel for the pulse. Count the number of beats you feel for 60 seconds, then record your results. To measure the respiration rate, watch your patient inhale and exhale for 60 seconds. If you need to feel each breath, have the patient cross their arm over their chest as shown in the video. After one minute, record your results. Take your mercury thermometer and shake it by flicking your wrist until the mercury line in the thermometer reaches below 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Then place the tip of the thermometer under one side of the tongue and towards the back. Leave the thermometer in the mouth or hold it there for three minutes. After three minutes, remove the thermometer and locate the mercury line inside the thermometer. Then record your results. <laughs> 